CGCP2849 by Chesthetica. So in this position, white is slightly ahead in material by a pawn, but the queen on d2 is being attacked by the rook on d7. So maybe white should try something like queen to h2 check. This saves the queen and gains a tempo. King captures pawn. Rook to g1 check. Aha! Uh -huh. Black is in trouble now. King to f7. There's no rush to capture the queen. So queen to h5 check. King to f8. Rook captures queen. Rook captures rook. Queen to h8 check. Rook to g8. Queen to h4. And white can go on to win this game. There might even be a force mate in about 15, 16 moves like that. But if you take a look at this original position again, is there a simpler way to proceed from here? You might be surprised. Take a look at this. The unthinkable king to f5 discovered check. Rook captures queen. Rook to h1 check. Black can only intervene. And white mates on the third move. Would you like to see that again? Now in this position, white sacrifices his queen. Now. Why doesn't king to g4 work? Because the pawn on g6 can be captured by the king. So after rook captures queen, if rook to h1, king captures pawn. So white plays very precisely. The king moves to f5, not just to create the discovered check, but actually to protect that pawn so that the king can't capture it. Now since the king is in check, black has to deal with this, which allows rook to h1. And after the intervention, rook captures rook with mate. Now if black doesn't capture the queen, for example if king to h5, then there are so many ways. Not only rook to h1 wins, but also queen to h2 and even queen to g5. Hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next one.